Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation back with you. Um, should I apologize for earlier and all that crying? I don't know if it got to you. It got to you. It's history. Maybe I just feel that it's about time somebody spoke up. For the Native Nations, um, even though it it got emotional, um, but we're gonna move on with this. I'm gonna put like a thing over here for the sewing pins, and I have my other thing for the sewing pins closed, so it is over there. Um, so I already have this cut out, as you know. I have two bobbins already spun. This shouldn't take that long. Now, I have the gusset part like right here, and then I'm going to stitch up on this side. Then I'll stitch up on the other side. So I'm just going to make this video, you know, like stitch on one side, stitch on the other side, and then get the shoulders. So let's go ahead with that and make sure that I have this on the setting that I want for this and let's get started and make sure that when you're doing this the ear thread doesn't go all funky loose because sometimes that will happen now um make sure that you have your setting correct because I don't want my thread. Oh, you know what happened? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me thread this real quick. This this is my fault right here. <laughs> this is a flu bill. This is a flu bill on my part. I forgot. I set up the rest of this, but I forgot to thread it. This is my fault. Here, this is how you know it's Monday. This is this really is how you know it's Monday. When you totally forget to thread the machine, you're like, wait, why are you using army green? Um, another uh tradition with the tribes because there's not a lot of jobs available for us is. There are more men and women from the tribes in uniform than any other nationality in America. Just so you know that. Just so you're aware of that. A lot of men and women in uniform are Native American. That's how most Native Americans get a job. It doesn't mean that they lose their res card. It just means that's the only job available. So, um, I myself was a recruit to the Army National Guard Armored Tank Division back in 2002. Then I received a spinal injury. But something that's tradition at the powwows now is to uh, pay tribute to all warriors. And this is why it really makes me sad about people trying to claim things. Um, our tradition at the powwow 
is to pay tribute to all warriors of all walks of life, of all nationalities. And we have them get in a circle and dance. My friend Rocco from Roaming with Rocco was honored to be able to get in the circle and dance last year with the uh, Warriors for being a uh, Navy veteran. Now you tell me that's not special. A white man was able to dance with Native Americans just for being a veteran and because we allow that we allow that we we don't we try to let it go okay do you understand me we try to let it go. I think that's the difference. Oh. So moving on here. And then we'll sew along here. But once it reaches the shoulder up here at the top, we don't sew that, that sleeving section. That's the only, I mean, we make a nice cap on yeah. But a roll down. And like I said, there aren't a lot of sewing circles left. Now, I know my Lenape friends, I have to try to get a hold of them again. They actually have a sewing circle. And they asked me to join their sewing circle. Because they know I have skills to teach for sewing circle. And I would be so honored to teach in sewing circle. Absolutely, I would be honored. see why this says buffalo oh I see okay because this has like little uh tatanka uh on it um and that's why it says I never really paid attention to that before like on the end of where it says uh blank quilting company and then right after that there's like little tatanka um, buffalo on there and 
scissors are over there but that doesn't really matter um, I'm sorry I'm still a little tired from earlier I had to lay down because I, I was really tired um, all that crying made me tired <laughs> it did who doesn't get tired after they cry it gets so emotional you just want to lay down lay down um and then that's a really clean line and i know these don't match but you know hey um i'm not gonna get mad at that not really because this is you know some of this is gonna have some beadwork on it and I'm not going to get mad at that either because I did not cut this a specific way. And I probably should have, and I did not. And uh, that's okay. Uh, last year I made a flu boo. And again this year I made a flu boo. Um, but I'm not going to get mad at it because it's okay. It runs in the same direction. As long as your fabric runs in the same direction, it's not going to uh, really matter uh, unless you're like looking for a specific section to continue on. And then you might actually end up costing yourself more in fabric to make it perfectly matchy matchy and then you're like wow spent too much in fabric yeah and that's where it gets really costly uh it really does it gets really costly but um yeah i'm not mad at that um yeah Because then you, you just bring this back and then sew it. But I'll do that part later. Oh, this is why we have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when we're sewing, we have to be careful about that. Um, Absolutely. Doesn't matter. Just have to be careful. Hmm. Then even up your fabric gotta making you cringe. I am I making you cringe? And <laughs> by doing that I know I am. Sorry, sorry. Right. I already jabbed myself with the needle. Sorry, right. I'm still tired. It's, all right. it's gonna be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Um, I have to watch the time, too. I have something to do. 7.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. I, have, I need to be online um, with a friend. And I also hope that you understand. Um, Regalia is not a costume everybody just to go out and make no no this is not a costume this is not for you to just like bust out fabric and make please don't do that that's rude and the only reason that I'm using the one hour dress pattern is it similar 
very, very similar to Native American dress patterning. It's the only reason I'm using that. It really is. Otherwise, I would have just stuck with traditional. But it's so similar to traditional, that's why I'm using it. So don't take offense to that. It's just so similar to it. And I really have to thank Morgan Donner. And Morgan, I think you got that video, that idea for that video from someone else, I believe, you said. Um, but still, Morgan, thank you. Now, see, I got this, the one-hour dress for Morgan Donner from a white girl. But you know what? I'm not mad. I like people in general. And I'll leave a, a link for Morgan for her one hour dress <sighs> with this video. She's she's sweet. I like her. Um, we've talked on Instagram before, you know, just briefly um, here and there because she's been busy too. People are busy. They have things to do too. It's called life. Um, life just doesn't stop just because of whatever, you know? Life doesn't stop just because of whatever. Absolutely not. Um, I've had conversations with people from Costume College lately. Uh... I'm kind of interested in your costume college. If you can give me an inquiry about costume college, um, cost and whatever, please let me know. I might be interested in your costume college. Would I be teaching you traditional um, whose calls did I make? Oh, Rocco. Let, let's call Rocco back. Rocco, you're on YouTube. Say hello, Rocco. Oh, hello, Rocco. <laughs> I, I just saw that you know I have to get a new phone. What? Why? Yeah, I don't know. This afternoon, the phone, the screen, everything is blinking and everything else is going crazy. And I can't get it to go back to normal, so I gotta, get, I gotta get a new phone this week. Oh no. Well, well, maybe it know. overheated in the sun. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's out on the boat too long. And I mean, I went this morning. It's just this afternoon it started. It's just weird. It's like when you go to the black screen, it's so strange. Yeah, it's so strange. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's just weird. It's weird. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to go on a trip or something. Oh, yeah. A new one. Your yeah. your phone caught the corona. Yeah, my phone caught the corona. <laughs> and now you need a lime and a coconut and shake it all up. All right, yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's all I, I just let you know. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Say Bye. goodbye, Rocco. Goodbye, Rocco. All right. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs> It's 6.44 now. I have until, I'm going to say 7.15. But the 
this machine is pretty efficient. For me, I ate kind of late. I ate kind of late, and, and that's not like me to eat late. Um, I don't like to eat after six. I don't like to. Heck, I'm just gonna say I don't like to eat after four. That's just me. A lot of people think that's a bit weird. Um, I used to have diabetes, and quite frankly, it's not good for the human body to eat after sex. So, what I do is try to schedule um, an eating habit to eat makes any sort of sense for a healthy uh, track of eating. I know I have to get my weight off again. I, I know I've gained some weight. This went like seriously quick. Where's my little scissor? That went seriously quick. It was like, yeah, like, come on, like less than an hour for like both sides of those. And then, um, do like one shoulder, then the other shoulder. And then, um, and then we'll call it a day for that part. And then we'll finish this up tomorrow. But still, clean hemline. I'm serious. Clean hemline makes such a huge, huge, just such huge difference. I love it when the president does that. Such a huge difference. I know not everybody loves him, but it makes such a huge difference. <laughs> oh, I get such a kick out of that. Such a huge difference. Um... So yeah, um, even though I'm going to use kind of this army green tone, it's kind of traditional in um, Native American regalia to use colorful threads in our regalia. And um, so that's why I'm not really worried about using colorful threading in my regalia because it's traditional. And uh, keeping with tradition does not hurt because also I will end up turning the collar back and then sewing that down. And um, one side of this will be the back, one side will be the front. I already have this shifted. Like for the one hour dress, I already have this shifted. And... Uh, that works for me, <laughs> obviously, that works for me. So we can go ahead and sew 
one shoulder and then sew the other one. Like I said, this is going to be really quick. And then we'll end this video. And then what we'll do is when we come back to do the rest of this, um, it'll be showing you how I finish off the gussets. I'll have them done, but it'll be the finished part. And maybe just really finishing off the hemlines. I think that would probably be best. And then some more history, if you guys don't mind a few trails of tears down my face. Yes, I did just use that pun. Um, you guys are going to have to deal with a little bit of Native American emotions here and there. Um, because you, you have... You have to understand that if you want to learn Native American history, there's a lot of emotion behind it. I've had people ask me if, you know, I would go ahead and teach it. So if I'm going to teach it, you guys are going to have to deal with the emotion. emotional part is part of tradition of what we have lost for our history and our people so that your people can live a good life and um, I'm going to try not to cry again um because it's really hard on our people so that other people can live. And, um, we try not to hold grudges. We really do. We try not to hold grudges on other people. And I think that's a, you know, a good thing because we try to gather and try to teach. So that people can understand, you, you know, and also so that you can understand that we're not a bad people, we're not what the history books makes us out to be, uh, what the movies make us out to be, we're not these hair hunters, we're not, you no, know, we're not that. We're not, we're not the bad. Okay. Okay. So there's that one. Let me check this. I have a text coming in. That's okay. Um, I did a YouTube video earlier. It was rather emotional. It was about Native American history while cutting out a dress. And then now I have it on the sewing machine and I'm doing another YouTube video while I'm doing this message to you. Um, and uh, I will talk to you soon, okay? You don't need to know who that was. That was a sweetie of mine. It's one of my sweetie friends. Uh, I consider Mexicans to be tribal. And that was one of my Mexican friends. And he's sweet. I don't care he's gay. He's sweet. And this is how I feel. It's how I feel. I I don't care if people don't like gay people. You have an issue if you don't like gay people. Gay guys can be your absolute best friend in the world. 
Absolutely. If you're a girl, a gay guy can be your absolute best friend in the freaking world. So, anybody ever wants to know who's my BFF? A gay dude. My BFF will always be a gay dude. You know why? They're real with you. They they will be real with you. Hell yeah. And mine just happens to be a Chicano gay dude. <laughs> I don't really care. And then after this, let's see, make sure I have enough collar space open. Yes, indeed. over. We're almost done with this video. Don't worry. We're almost done with this video. I promise. See, like, I had one of my friends on the phone who heard me text another friend. Um, I have to be, like, somewhere in a moment online. Let me get my glasses off. Um, shut this off. The uh, sewing pins are out of this, so hold on a minute. I'm gonna like myself away from the camera. Come on, you know, Godzilla was on the other night, which I thought was cool. I love Godzilla movies, I really do. Old Godzilla movies, oh my gosh. Those are always like the best. I'm going to leave this inside out. And I'm not going to cut the bottom yet. And I'm not taking off the dress that I have on. I'm just going to slip this on. I have it on backwards, but it's all right. Um, so you guys get an idea. So you guys get something of an idea. Let's go ahead and pull this forward and then roll this forward. Um, pretty much it's like doing the one hour dress and then um, I will end up doing the gusset. I gotta like fold this table now. Um, so yeah, this isn't bad. This sleeve is great. So what I will do is I will roll this back and sew this down, okay, so that you don't see the white. I mean, I could cut that off, but I don't feel like wasting fabric. Not this year. We don't need to waste product, okay. Um, this is so very, very long. I feel like I should be wearing some sort of Oscar dress. <laughs> um, so, what is going on here? Anyway, and then I'll just bring you over here. Um, and then step back this way. 
<laughs> Although inside out, it kind of looks like a hospital gown. <laughs> um. It, it's the camera still does the snow justice <laughs> for you to see so we'll adjust that again for you to be able to see and uh, we'll move the chair so that I can step back here so um, in tradition and of course, you know, I got to take in the gusset part, which will bring it up. And uh, TikTok can wait. <laughs> yeah, I do have a TikTok, but I just don't use it to film. So, the one hour dress pattern works for this. I accidentally have this backwards. So, um, once I have the gusset part complete, right at the bottom that will pull it up down here but that that's fine that that's fine and I really like I said I have to thank Morgan Donner for this um, because it falls in the line of tradition and um, I may just go ahead and hang it over here or just put it over here I'm going to put my table away, um, but until then, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, and if, and if you could please keep it in mind, um, who, um, lost more so that you could have I would appreciate it because what more people have lost in America which used to be called Turtle Island before it was called America um, would be greatly appreciated by myself and the tribes um, because we gave up so much. I'm going to try not to cry again. Um, so that you could have everything that you need. Uh, so things could go forward for a culture. Um, and so much culture has been lost. And a lot of people said they they were interested in learning Native American culture, and this is that that's why I'm trying to bring this to you, and um, I will continue doing that this week as I finish this dress, um, and I do have a few other things that I have to finish, um, and then I have things I have to mail out this week. But I really just like, I wanted to get this dress done so that I have it ready for next year's powwow. And now I know that this is way too long, um, which is no big deal because it covers all my tattoos. Um, just like the other dress, you know, this dress covered all my tattoos. Um, so yeah, or at least this one covered a majority of my tattoos, so... Like I said, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I'm going to get out of this regalia dress and stay, and stay in my Fabric Mart panel dress. Even though my regalia is toasty, my regalia is like a blanket right now. It, even though it's choking me a little bit. Um, and I'm going to continue to take my thyroid medicine. Look, I promise I stopped taking it. I got tired of taking it. And, um, I swear I promise to continue to take it. I promise. I promise. It's, it's going to improve my health. Okay. Um, I, I, and I eat a good diet 
anyway, so I promise. Um, because it'll just make me feel better. At least I'm not a depressed person. It may seem like it right now, but I'm not a depressed person. So I'll see all of you later. All right? Bye.